Hi there, this is Jamie from Time and Space, and today I'm going to be giving you a short demo of Predator 2, the new virtual synth from Rob Pappen. So what I've done is I start off with quite a simple drum loop, and then I started adding different layers of sound using only Predator 2. And I ended up with a short track, which basically showcases the sounds and features of this synth, and will hopefully show you how you can use it in your own tracks, and what its possibilities are. Uh, so to start off with, uh, I'm going to quickly play you literally just about 10 seconds of the original drum loop I started off with, and then play you 10 seconds of my end result after adding Predator 2. Uh, and then after that, I'll start from scratch and show you the steps I took to get to my end result. Uh, so here's the original drum loop. And here's the end result after adding Predator 2. Okay, now you've heard the difference, I'm going to show you how I achieved it. Uh, so to start off with, I wanted to add some more percussive sounds and effects. So I found a preset I liked in the drums and percussion bank, um, and I liked it as a starting point, but I wanted to change it a bit. Uh, so to start off with, I changed the arpeggiator rhythm um, from this to this. And something I used to do that is the offset on the arpeggiator. Um, which is a new feature to Predator. Um, basically what it allows you to do is pull back or push forward um, any of the steps. Um, so I did it on these two here. Um, so you can get some really glitchy and interesting rhythms using that. Uh, then on top of that, I also added a lo-fi effect because um, I wanted to give it a bit more of a distorted tone. Uh, and then finally, I copied the exact same pattern and put it coming in one beat later. Uh, so this was the result. next thing I added to the track was quite a modular sounding sound effect and for part of this I used the XY pad, um, another new feature to Predator. So I started off with a preset and then set the X axis to modulate the amount of frequency modulation in oscillator 3 here. Um, then I changed the path of the XY pad to follow a horizontal line. Um, so this one when I played a note it would automatically move across the X axis um, causing the frequency to modulate. So this is what it sounds like. Then I added the bass. Again, as an initial starting point, I used a preset. Um, then first off, I added a sequence using the arpeggiator. Uh, so these values here show how many semitones above the original note each step will play. Then I made use of the new wave morphing feature, and this allows you to merge different waveforms together. So in this instance, you can see I've got a square wave morphing into one called glass. And then finally, in the modulation matrix down here, I've set the mod wheel to modulate the frequency of filter 2 and the amp release. Um, so listen to the end of what I'm about to play, and you'll hear the change when I use the modulation wheel. The final instrument I've added is a high detuned synth chord. Uh, so I found a preset I liked, and then to create the chord, I used another new feature, which is the chord trigger inside here. Um, so you turn it on using the play mode section, uh, you select how many notes you want here, and then you simply move the sliders to change the semitones and the panning. Uh, then you can use this dial here, which when turned up, um, adds a gap between each note, so it sort of gives a strum effect like this. So now you've heard that, I'll play everything together just as a short demo, uh, but hopefully it'll give you an idea of how great a sound you can get out of Predator 2 and how you can start creating tracks with it. This video only showed a fraction of what Predator 2 can do, 
but there's thousands of presets and loads of other cool features as well. So for more information, visit our website at www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.